Amen. Amen. The topic is gratitude challenge. Today's topic is gratitude challenge. Hallelujah. Um, okay, so as a theme, as a church, and as a theme, it's been long coming since the first day of March. And then if you belong on the hype social WhatsApp group, you know, I, I, I have read and I have seen um, people throw up a lot of things and a lot of reasons that they are grateful to God for. And I began to say to myself, you know, it's very easy to be grateful and be vocal about it when you get a new job. Can you relate? When you buy a new house, when someone proposes to you, uh, uh, when you win that contract, I'm sure Mentor Emmanuel can relate. Um, what else? What else? As a new bride, when you take in, you know, when your dream and ambition to, to evaporate from Nigeria, relocate somewhere else, comes to pass, it is very easy. The adrenaline inside of you, right? naturally, supernaturally falls in place and you are singing. Am I right? And you are dancing and you are rejoicing. And so you come to church and then before the pastor will say, who's got a testimony you are flying out here? Am I right or wrong? How easy is it when you have no food to eat? When you suffer a breakup, so you've invested everything in that relationship to make it work. In fact, a few days to, you know, walking you down the aisle, he leaves and goes. When you get ejected from your house, so you guys have owed the landlord, you've owed him, you know, a year, two or three and all that. And then they just come and they throw you out. When you have no job, when you can't change your boxers, I'm trying to get very close to the skin. I'm trying to get very close to the skin. When you can't change your boxers, when you don't have a friend, you know, when you are unlovable, I said, where? No one wants to hang around you. How easy does it come? Let's read Habakkuk. That's where I want to start from. The topic is gratitude challenge. We find it very easy. It's very convenient when things are going smooth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I went. So I stayed. And so this didn't happen. And then someone sent that money into my bank account. Praise the Lord. And we all stand up. So I went. And this happened. And that didn't happen. The promotion wasn't coming. In fact, we were 20 in the office. They haven't promoted anyone. And they promoted me. Praise the Lord. Naturally, everything in your system aligns. Do you agree? You are praising. You are dancing. In fact, we will, Pastor Sunday, we will be struggling to get the mic off your hands. Because from inside of your heart, you know something has happened. How about when it doesn't happen? That's the challenge. That's the gratitude challenge. Habakkuk chapter 3. I'm trying to ask a question. Um, third, verse 18. Verse 18. Is it 18 yet or 17 really? 17. No, 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 not 18 yet. 17. Although the fig tree may not blossom. I don't like this. NLT. Even though the fig trees have no blossoms and there are no grapes on the vines, even though the olive crop fails and the field is empty, right? And the field lie empty and barren. And even though the flocks die in the field 
and the cattle barns are empty, would you still be grateful? That's all I want. I don't want eating yet. Would you still be grateful? Would you still be grateful? Would you still be able to come here? That's the challenge. Would you still be able to stand and say, God, you are good. I know you are good. Let us read First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 18. It's easier said than done, honestly. So personally, I am walking, I am threading and walking that path. You know, I'm walking it, I'm walking it, I'm walking it, I'm walking it. Honestly, I didn't feel in the space to be the one to deliver on this. And so God tells to me that you actually are the right person to say this. Be thankful in all circumstances. For this is, the, for this is God's will for you who belong in Christ Jesus. In all circumstances. In all circumstances, in all circumstances, not when it is good alone, you know, not when everything is jolly, not when it is milk and honey, in all circumstances, when it is not good too, when it is not good as well, be thankful, be thankful, be thankful, when all isn't going well. When you miss that admission yet again, be thankful in all circumstances. When you appear like you're the only one who's left on the shelf, everyone has gone. Every other monsoon's engagement is announced. Every other monsoon's status on Facebook changes to married now. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. When you, when you leave your office, and you're handed a termination note. Be thankful. That is the scriptures. Hallelujah. And that's the challenge. That's the challenge. That's the challenge. A number of times, we are unable to uh, wrap, our, wrap our hands, or is it heads they call it, I don't know, around it. It is easier to flip it and say, hey, hallelujah. But when the chips are down and it stares you right in the face, you, 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 you fall apart like a pack of cards. But honestly, honestly, be thankful. Say to someone, I will be thankful. I will be thankful. No matter the circumstance. Let us read Philippians 4.4. It is an admonition, and I hope and pray that alongside myself, some other person here today will take a grasp of it and move and practice on it. We're in a church where the word, the word is like a script, you know, you know, caught, and then you try to do it. He says you should slap the person that you don't do it very well, and they say you should take it again. Uh, th that's how it is in this house, you know. So no, 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 no formings at all. If you are not there yet, pick it up again and begin to run. Work and practice the word because as I am here now, I am practicing this a hundred percent, you know, and it is not going to be funny. It is not going to be easy. You should do. Always be full of joy in the Lord. Always, 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 always. When your mom is in hospital and there is no money to pay for her medical bills, full of joy. When after the service you're going back to a house where there hadn't been food three days ago and there will not be food when you get home, always, always, always be full of joy. And it's trusted for that. It says, again, rejoice. That is the gratitude challenge, a mindset. I am quick to make reference back to it, but you know, it is what it is. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had a mindset. They had a mindset. You must have a mindset. So your mindset will give you that attitude with which you will climb over your mountains. When it looks like it is toughest, it is hardest. When it looks like you have hit your waterloo, you will start to dance. And so those young men were thrown in fire. 
regardless of the fact that, you know, the fire was double, triple heated up. And then they were thrown into the fire. Even the people who threw them into the fire. I'm telling you what will come when you are resolute in your mindset that is predicated on God. Even the people who threw them in the fire got burnt. Alas, the Mr. King stood afar off. Because God is not a wicked God. He doesn't push you out and then leaves you to face it all by yourself. When he sees that your strength and your faith is hinged on him continually, he will show up. Because he showed up for Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego. Did he not? And the king stood aback and said, Hey, did we not put only three men into this fire that is burning? How is it that there is one more person I can see in this fire? When your faith is unshaken, the Lord will appear for you. The Lord will show up for you. This is a word of encouragement unto myself first and then you. You know? whatsoever the challenge is take up that gratitude challenge and you say you know what devil you are no one i give you all of the praise oh god i give you praise oh god i serve a god who is not dead can you stand on your faith now can you stand on your feet right now and look your challenge in the face and say i thank jehovah still can you be resolute? Can you be resolute? Can you be definite about it and look it in the face and say, Jesus is still Lord. It doesn't matter what the situation is that I am confronted with right now. I know there is a God that is greater than this thing that I go through right now. I know that there is a God who is able to deliver just like those young men did a sat. And the saint said to the king, I know that our God is able to deliver us. And so, O king, we consider not anything that you are saying. What are you considering? What have you suffered that has made you cry, that has made you doubt God? It is your gratitude challenge now. Look those things in the face and say, God, you know what? I thank you for bringing me into the situation because you have brought me in the situation to, to deliver me. Because I know you have brought me in the situation to show yourself God. Because at the end of the day Nebuchadnezzar he knelt down and asked them how can I begin to serve God everything that you go through right now is supposed to bring somebody to the knowledge of God at the end of the day the warder the prisoner he came to them and asked Paul and Silas and he said how may I come to Jesus what you are going through right now is an instrument in the hands of the Lord to draw someone out Dependable God, dependable God, dependable, dependable God, dependable God, dependable, dependable God, dependable God. I like that you are funded. You were the dependable. Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Nisi. Oh, 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 oh. Dependable, dependable God. Reliable, reliable God. Reliable, reliable God. Reliable. What shall separate us from the love of Christ? Absolutely nothing. Not tribulation, not famine. What have you? Nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. Jehovah, we give you praise today. We give you praise today. We give you praise continually for the things that we are going through that are not fun, that are not palatable. We choose not to do what the devil wants us to do. That's we'll leave our faith, our confidence, our thrust 
consistently in you because Lord we know you are able to bring about a change and in your own time those situations in our lives uh, today that constitute mountain that we are defying uh, to stand before you and raise hands oh God uh, they will come to fruition uh, in the name of Jesus uh, we'll make plain every mountain in our lives uh, we'll make plain every challenge in our lives uh, everything that man has said contrary to your word uh, in our lives those things that make us cry oh God uh, they turn around uh, because my Bible says that uh, in the night alone weeping may endure but joy comes in the morning